And so we had to go back again. And then we do it again and she flub it. And, and the director lost his mind and he said, What the hell are you doing? We're killing ourselves here. What do you, what, what's the matter with you? You had weeks to learn this. And she goes, <laughs> And started crying. I can't work under this pressure. And she went storming up the set. And I tell you, I have never, ever seen anybody do that. And it was, it was quite shocking. But, you know, it looks really funny when you watch it. And I can't work under this pressure. But when you're working for $10,000 a minute or $5,000 a minute or whatever it is, it's a big deal. So that was the only real crisis we had on the day on the, on the set. But for the most part, great fun. Hasselhoff, what a hoot. Yes. Yes. Um... Unicron Trilogy, though, um, most of us didn't like it, some of us did. What are your thoughts on it? My thoughts on the Unicron Trilogy? Yeah. Well, I liked it. I, I, I just, you got to understand, guys, that um, I've done thousands of these shows, and uh, every one of them has, uh, has a, a certain focal point of things that I remember about it. The one thing I remember about the Unicron Trilogy was was that it was long days sitting in the studio by myself going beep, 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 and speaking speaking so I was really didn't have too many memories of the stories themselves because it was concentrating on making the words all fit you know this this thing called word fit I'm trying to make all the words fit so I was concentrating so much on the words I forgot about the story and that's why I don't like doing ADR for that reason ADR is an automated dialogue replacement, and uh, I just, I never get any any grasp of the story because all I'm doing is my lines, you see? So there you go. So that's my thoughts on that. Not much. <laughs> um, if um, Optimus Primal met Optimus Prime, what would he actually say to him? If Optimus Primal met Optimus Prime, what would he say? Is that a spare tire in your pocket or are you just glad to see me? Fancy <laughs> <laughs> meeting you here. What dimension are you from? Yes, sir. Um. What was it like working opposite uh, David Kay for so long? David Kay? I really, really, really like David Kay. David Kay and I go back many, many years, over 25 years. And I can tell you my first, one of my first meetings with David Kay was he was working at a radio station. And he's the guy who goes, Shea 101.5 FM. More hits, more often, less talk, more rock. You know, he's one of those guys. And he, we were next door neighbors in this apartment complex. And he said, can you listen to my demo? And I said, sure. And I came over and listened to the demo. And I said, wow, that's a great demo. Well done. Are you going to put it out? And he goes, yeah, I am. I'm going to try and do this cartoon thing. This is cool. So he did. And we ended up working together, like, on... on Transformers, G.I. Joe, Knights of Justice. We started working on all these different shows. And then we've, we've traveled together. We were over in uh, New York a few times, in Chicago, and down in Louisiana, and that. And uh, he's just a, a great guy, but it's so funny because he always carries around his little satellite box in his, in his uh, portable recording studio because he does all the voices for ESPN or, or one of those. Um, uh, sports station. So any time of day, any day, he'll be called upon and he go, oh, excuse me, go find a quiet room and go, ah, oh, this is ESPN today. Get the and he would have to do that every single day. So, but uh, just a really delightful guy. Bit of a kick, but delightful. Um, I was wondering, um, who, who like, um, not just voice actors, um, but voice acting and acting, who are you inspired by in other films like which actors inspire you to do your roles as well as acting and acting as such? The ones who inspired me? Yeah, well, the, my biggest inspiration was Alec Guinness. 
Love Della Guinness. Loved uh, uh, Robert Mitchell because he had the best voice. I just loved his uh, his voice. Loved De Niro. Loved uh, Maggie Smith. Used to slay me because she would turn a phrase so easily. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, there's lots. Uh, one of my biggest inspirations for voices was Mel Blanc and Dawes Butler because they were so good. When I found out one guy did all those voices on the Bugs Bunny cartoons and on Huckleberry Hound and Quick Draw McGraw, I was just like blown away. And uh, Dawes, Dawes was the guy who, well, I'm sitting but Louis, hey! Remember that guy from uh, Quick Draw McGraw? Well, he never, never saw Quick Draw McGraw. See, I'm showing my age again. Not Quick Draw McGraw? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was the same guy who did Yogi Bear, Huckleberry Hound, and uh, the Big Pussycat. Excellent, You know, all of the Big Panther, all those guys, and I listened to them, I was just blown away by them. Those were my biggest inspirations.